Hi guys, Dan Felton from Third Solution here. Today I want to show you how you can use these icons from Font Awesome inside of your Final Cut X timeline. And that's basically exactly what I wanted to do. In one of my recent projects I just had the desire to include some of those social media icons in the closing title card and what I didn't want to do is go online, find a vector pack, um, bring it into Illustrator, then swap it over to Photoshop and then bring it into Final Cut only to see that I have to make changes again and again. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I can bring these things in as a font? And yes, absolutely, you have that option. The cool thing about this is it is vector based and you have full control over the font within your text panel. So if you want to increase the size, you can do that. And if it caps at 288, which it always does, and we want to make it bigger, just type in the number. And as you can see, the icons remain crisp and clean and really, really cool looking. So that's one aspect. Obviously, a second aspect is that you can control like the color of it. So you can pretty much do whatever you want with this within and inside of Final Cut X. So let me show you how you can build this. Move this out of the way and we start from scratch. So we're gonna come over to the Font Awesome website and obviously I will provide links for this in the show notes. Now download the font and once you've done that you will have a folder called Font Awesome 430 in your downloads folder. Come to Fonts and install the Font Awesome web front TTF. Double click Install font. It's going to prompt you with a little validation. Hit the checkbox and click on install check. Now I've already gone ahead and did that, so I'm not going to do it, but you go ahead and do it. The next thing we want to do is we want to come over to the Font Awesome Cheat Sheet, and this is basically where you select your icons that you want to use within your project. Maybe, yeah, coffee is always good, I guess. The coffee one. Then you come into Final Cut, open the text panel here and just drag, drag the, um, the basic title and go ahead and close the panel. All right, in the basic title, we're gonna come into the text, hit Command V to insert and you can see, oh, it's not working. And the reason for it is that your font is still set to Helvetica by default. So we're gonna come here and change it to font awesome and you can already see the icon is updated now again manipulate it to your liking if you would like to include another one come back to the font awesome cheat sheet and select whatever you want maybe the Facebook one and just command C for copy command V for paste and include it into your project And there you go. It's very simple, it's very straightforward, and I hope you will have some fun with this. Thanks for watching.